Hey guys, what's up? Um, one more before I uh, get Kydex cooking and stuff. I finished this last night. This is, um, I was inspired to do something. Uh, I saw a Phil Hartsfield knife and I thought, you know, that looks really cool. And he was like, um, you know, one of the just dudes that um, pulled off a chisel grind like no other. Um, I thought, I want to do something in that style. So I uh, got some Bowler K110 and just kind of started uh, cutting, grinding and stuff. And this is what I came up with. And this is, in keeping with the style, I um, went with 36 grit for the bevels and they are practically a zero bevel grind. Well, the reason they're not is I added a small micro bevel for uh, sharpening purposes on uh, the flat. But um, this is this thing is very sinister. Um, it shaves on both sides. And just to give you a better um, look at the edge geometry here, fucking cat hairs. But um, yeah. It is crazy sharp. So um, it is hardened to 61, 62 uh, RC with cryo. This will hold an edge for uh, an insanely long time. Um, this is definitely a weapon. I make a lot of knives that are tactical-ish. You know, I guess I hate that marketing term, but um, that's what people call it. But this is, you know, a tactical knife you can get away with saying, you know, it's got utility value, but it could also be pressed into a um, defensive, offensive role. This is straight offensive. There is nothing, you know, um, defensive, uh, um, everyday utility about it. It's just all nasty. Okay, so sharpened length of the main edge is five and three eighths. The top edge is four and a half. From the tip of scale, we've got almost six inches, like five and 15 sixteenths. From a butt to point, we got a 10 and 5 eighths so here's the uh, flat side handles are bolt-on uh, there's some crap in there uh, the problem with um, coarse texture peel ply g10 and uh, 36 grits is that when you wipe them down with the towel after putting frog lube on the fuckers they they pick up lint and shit and grit like no other you know so whatever but um yeah, it fits the hand nicely. Very secure grip. Got these double guards. This is not was not intended to be an opener like the Booze Fighter series, but it does pop a top. It will work. There's enough dull area there so you're not running into edge when you're um, opening a bottle. But yeah, I never intended it to be a bottle opener. It just happened that way. Um, point of balance is right here at the trigger finger, right behind the tip of the scale. Mm-hmm. And it is, I want to say, one... Well, let me get the calipers. Uh, okay. Sit, stay, stay. Put a shimmer there. Uh, okay. So... It is 182. All right. Beautiful weapon. This is going to get a uh, left-handed CM carry rig. So, be like that. Just like the knife that's going to Germany. But, yeah, I, had to, I wanted to get a video of this. Um, this is something very unusual as far as far as a departure from my normal stuff but then again is my stuff ever normal nah 
Mm-hmm. Just crazy about these grinds. All right, let's see. We've got to figure out what it weighs, and then I am off to the oven and the press to make rigs. Okay. Oh, it's still in grams. Let's see. Mode ounces. 11.744 ounces. Not bad at all. All right, as always, stay armed, stay alert, stay alive. Hua. God bless. Later.